what is going on youtube so today in this video i want to take some time and talk about reasons why i failed the fe not only once but twice so hopefully this video is going to be helpful for you and hopefully it will save you some time headache just frustration so let's get straight into it. The very first reason why I failed is because I wasn't studying the right material. It's like so many different topics on the exam and the exam seems so long, right? It's 110 questions or something like that. So this is a long test. So I didn't come in with the mindset to study the correct materials. I'm just like, well, I'm, you know, I've gotten through the civil engineer. I was about to get through the civil engineering program at my college, UNC Charlotte. And I'm thinking, well, I know transportation. I know uh, economics. I know, you know, the majority of the classes and I was able to pass those classes. So it can't be that tough, right? I, it can't be, you know, anything that I'm not going to be able to pass. Don't try to wing it. It's to me, not easy. And a lot of people were saying that the test is going to be easy. It's going to be super easy. Like just go in there, you know, use your brain and pass the test. No, take, I, I, I couldn't pass it that way. It took me three tries. Right. And what I noticed on my third try is, is I actually went through and went through all of the topics that the FE manual told me that I needed to study. I understood those concepts. And on the third test, I mean, it was super easy because I understood the concepts because I did the practice problems and because I did the work. So take that time to study the right material. Um, don't wing it, understand the concepts. The very first time that I took the test, uh, there was a version of the reference manual. I think it was like 9.5 or something like that. The second test that I ended up taking, they had actually changed the reference handbook. So not only was I not studying the right material, but I had the wrong handbook. So I was completely thrown off on the second time that I took the exam. So let me just talk my shit about... <laughs> taking the FE exam since it gave me so much headache and frustration. So it's weird how the NCEES, you know, makes you schedule your exam. When I was taking it, for some reason, I took it maybe a year or two ago. For some reason, the times that you could schedule was around like the holidays or these weird times. So my first exam was like two days before Christmas or something like this. So I'm already in a different <laughs> headspace, right? I'm thinking about Christmas, thinking about having a good time, spending time with my family, whatever it may be. So not only was I studying the wrong material, but I was not really in the correct headspace. And, you know, while I was studying, I began to do something that was a major, major mistake. And this brings me to the second thing that I did incorrectly on both of the times that I took the exam. I tried to memorize formulas and memorize solutions. And of course, memorizing formulas is not a bad thing. But when you try to memorize a solution to a problem, that's where it becomes a major, major problem. The the fe test you on concepts and i'll you know let you know exactly where i was memorizing problems from so they give you a practice test and this practice test has 110 questions and it you know goes through all of some of the concepts that you're going to be tested on on the exam and i will say this that test is to me a lot easier <laughs> than the actual exam um, so I was memorizing the solutions to those problems. And I'm like, if I can memorize you know, how to do this particular problem, or memorize uh, a sp specific solutions, then on the exam, I can, it'll, they're just going to switch some numbers out or they're just going to make some minor tweaks, but it's not going to be too much different from the practice test. Well, let me tell you something. I was completely wrong. I was completely wrong. Do not try to memorize, do not try to memorize solutions. And 
I in college I was big on Chegg, so I used Chegg to pretty much finesse school, and that probably was a mistake too, because ultimately I had to learn how to, you know, actually do <laughs> the problems. So yes, don't memorize. Learn the concepts. Learn how to solve the problem in multiple different ways and this is going to come with practice right it's just not going to come overnight you're going to need to take some time to go through each of the concepts and topics and i have made a video on how to find the right practice problems how to find uh, you know, the right topics that you need to be studying for the FE. So be sure to check out that video. I go into major detail. So hopefully that'll help you out. And I'll leave that video right here. If you're finding value out of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I actually make, you know, some one on one practice problems where we go through some of these concepts and I explain, you know, how to solve these problems. I go through typical things that go on in the civil engineering world, um, make videos about helping you grow. So if you're into any of those things, make sure you hit that subscribe button. For those of you who are about to take the test, please do not try to wing this exam. Now, I guess everyone else is a genius and I'm an idiot <laughs> because this test was not easy to me. Like it just wasn't. I know people who have failed the test, like three or four times, not saying that's gonna happen to you, but don't make this last mistake that I made. And third reason why I feel like I failed the test is because I wasn't familiar with my FE manual. I didn't know where to go to get the formulas that I needed to solve for certain problems quickly. So on my first two exams, I was taking some a good amount of time just trying to find the formulas that I needed. And on this test, you are going to be a little pressed for time. I think it's about should be looking at maybe two to three minutes per problem or so. So you got to be able to get to the formula that you need in a quick and short amount of time. And then you have to be able to actually solve the problem. So get familiar with your uh, manual that's what practice is for. That's where understanding concepts is for. You know, you don't want to be, let's just say, for example, if they are asking you a question on uh, mathematics, but you're in the transportation section of the manual, that's not going to help you. If you're flipping through the transportation, that's, that's not going to be helpful and it's not going to, uh, help save you any time on the exam. So get familiar with that manual and make sure it is up to date. So I have uh, created a video where I go into detail about the FE manual, how to use it, where you're going to need to be, you know, choosing your problems for and failed to mention this earlier, but I am in the civil section. So I failed the civil section twice. So uh, for those of you who are doing mechanical or electrical or whatever it may be, the concepts I believe still applies. But for those that are in the civil, this is going to really be beneficial for you. If you are about to take this exam, I am excited for you. I want you to crush this thing. I want you to make sure that you do well on the first time. Hopefully, if not, if you're retaking it, I want you to do well and make sure that you pass. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. Like I said, hopefully this video was helpful and um, be sure to check out some of my other content. Really go into detail about, you know, FE practice problems that you can do um, things that you can do to uh, become a better engineer or just become a better person in general. So thank you all for watching this video and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.